Cisco IWAYS role based CL access. So it's also called as role based access control, or in other words, we can call them as AAA views. Now, this AAA views or role based access control is a new and a flexible way of assigning a specific user as with a specific commands. Same like a privilege levels, but we got a newer and a flexible method to control what commands the user can execute. So here, instead of using the privilege levels, we are going to create some views. Like I'm going to create a view called security engineer, and I'm going to associate all the commands relating to security. And then I'm going to create another view with a name called routing switching engineer, and we'll associate all the commands relating to routing switching in that views. And then we'll associate the user. Let's say I'm creating a user file, who is my security engineer, and we'd associate this view. And then we'll create a user six, let's say, associating the routing switching view. So same like privilege levels, but here we create views. The, the main difference is these two views are actually isolated. So th there's no more levels here, like higher, lower kind of levels. So each and every view is, is like a specific separate set of commands assigned to individual users. And once we associate this user with a specific views, now the user can only see the commands which are defined in that view. Like when, when we use IWS question mark, Let's say the routing switching engineer assigned with a level of router OSPF. And if you say router o router and use question mark, you can only see a specific command called router OSPF. And you cannot see any other commands like BG, router BGP or router EHRP commands. Because you want to restrict this user to use only o to make any changes only to OSPF configurations, not to the BGP configurations. And each view defines a specific command, like I said, will define a specific commands and the views will be associating them to the users and we can test it out or we can switch them switch to the users while you are testing. You can also verify by switching to the different views. Now the main advantage of using this role based access control instead of privilege levels is we can create an isolated views. Like I can have a separate security engineer with the commands, van engineer, specific commands, and these two views can be isolated. So whatever the commands defined in the security engineer, it, these commands may not be accessible here. And whatever the commands we define in the routing switching are not accessible here, unless you have a common commands. Like you may have some common commands like show run, and these commands may be present in both the views. That's okay, you can still have some common commands but whatever the command set defined in this level uh, is not uh, allowed or, or not allowed for any other user with the, with the other view again. And one more advantage is we can control a specific user based on specific ports, interfaces or the slots. Like you may have a requirement where you got some router, uh, maybe some physical interfaces, uh, maybe S1 by 0 here. And I want my routing switching engineer should be able to configure all these interfaces. I can make changes to these specific interfaces. But uh, let's say there is one interface called tunnel interface, which I'm using for security purpose for VPNs. And I want the user who belongs to security engineer to have access to this interface, but not to other interfaces. Like the blue ones here, the blue ones, the colors, these are the routing switching engineer interfaces and security engineer can make changes to tunnel interface, but not to the physical interfaces. Or if you want, you can still allow the security engineer to access any specific interfaces as per the requirement. So we can control specific commands. We can also control, we can say that the user can execute router OSP of one command, routing switching engineer, but not accept. He can use all the router commands except router BGP because you can allow the user to add all the commands using the router, but except the BGP, we can exclude specific commands uh, like that. So it's like a flexible way to manage the commands to a specific users. And one more thing, we can only see the CLI commands what are given in that level. Like if I create a view with a security operator, then if I use IWS help, he will be able to see only the specific commands which are defined in that particular view. So this, this is actually an advantage to prevent because you know, uh, it's less complex and easy, easy to use IWS help because if you use question mark and if you see only specific commands, what you can use, 
it becomes very easy for the engineers to figure out which commands they can execute and of course pre prevent un unintentional execution of the commands uh, by any unauthorized personals which could result in undesirable results so if you compare the privilege levels with the role based CL access these are actually a more better way to assign a specific set of commands to individual users.